<laughs> okay. So today we're going to talk about postmodernism. Uh, postmodernism is, by most people's account, the current worldview of our um, culture. I think you'll see that. I think you'll recognize that as uh, as we walk through this. Uh, and um, um, it, it's it's very much culture driven, uh, and I think this is what our culture is. So, uh, here's postmodernism. Our guy now is not sad; he's angry. You angry? Uh, and then God is not in the equation. Uh, there is no such thing as God. Um, there is no purpose to life. Uh, and, and it isn't just that they have no purpose to life. They would say there is no purpose to life. Um, there is no peace. Uh, there is no such thing as truth. Uh, there's no self-rule. Uh, and it's very experiential. Um, it is amoral. Remember, that's different than immoral. Amoral means there's no moral code. There's no uh, standard of right and wrong. And it's very culture driven, and we see postmodernism all over our culture. And by the time we're done here today, I think you'll see that. Yes. How does this whole self rule and there's no God part? Because if you're not ruling over yourself, you don't have anything to rule over you. Because if there's no God, there's nothing to rule over you. You need to rule over yourself. How does that work? Right. So I think that by no self rule, they're saying more that there's no over you. Um, so there's there's no those there's no such thing as morality, there's no such thing as do's and don'ts. It's all what is right for you or what you want. I think that's that's the primarily primarily because I would think that it was all tough because it's very but um, but I think it just means that there's no such thing as norms. Exactly. We're gonna get to that. Um, so, um, so like humanism and naturalism, postmodernism rejects God, rejects the idea of God, uh, and, and obviously then he has no, uh, he doesn't exist, so, so God, religion, any of it that has no binding moral authority over anyone. Instead, the postmodern person embraces, uh, um, a morality relative to his culture or relative more probably uh, accurately to his own life, uh, his own moral code. Um, it began as a reaction um, against the Enlightenment and against uh, I, the idea of there being truth, the idea of there being um, uh, a grand narrative over life, uh, and, uh, and, it, and it was fighting against that. Ultimately, it leads to a life without purpose. And I'm not even sure that a postmodernist would um, would deny that, because I think he would say there is no purpose. So yeah, it's a life without purpose. Um, so some key characteristics, and I don't have um, any. Um, um, so there's no belief in a transcendent God or any sort of religion or religious belief. Um, Postmodernism rejects the idea of a meta narrative. Do you understand this term, meta narrative? A grand story that explains all of life on a macro level. I gave you the Christian world story right at the beginning of the year, right? Creation, fall, redemption, restoration. That's a meta narrative. That's the Christian meta narrative that God created, man sinned. God stepped in and redeemed uh, man, and someday he'll make everything all right, uh, make everything right again. So uh, there's no meta narrative. There's no overarching story. There's nothing that explains what life is about. Um, it's um, uh, and so that leads then uh, to postmodernists being skeptical and suspicious uh, of everything. Probably the single word that best defines postmodernism is this word. Deconstruction. Now, you see this root word, construction. What does that mean? What does it mean to construct something? To build it up. So what do you think deconstruction is? 
to tear it down. And, and everything uh, is, is to be questioned and everything is, that, that is accepted by uh, the culture uh, and especially anything religious is to be deconstructed. But even that which is seen as good is to be deconstructed. It's to be torn apart uh, to see what is left that might be of value. And in the case of religion, there's nothing left of value. We are to just deconstruct everything in life. So here's a book definition of deconstruction. Uh, deconstruction began as a philosophical movement and theory of literary criticism. So, so deconstructing the assumptions in literary in, in literature, excuse me, uh, and the uh, and the um, uh, desires and the themes. Uh,